With your Tackle HD crappie fishing report for Table Rock Lake, here's Pete Leonard from Aider Baits Guide Service. Hey guys, this is Pete Leonard with Aider Baits Fishing Guide Service with your Tackle HD crappie update for Table Rock Lake. Uh, over the last several days, we've had a lot of rain. It's really got the water really muddy. Uh, before the rain, we had several nice days. So it was pushing that water temp way up. Um, in the Kings River area, I was I was fishing Kings River. The water was starting to clear up. I uh, was getting 52 to 54 degree water. Uh, fish were starting to move up and get active. Uh, had a bunch of rain, muddied the water up, cooled it off a little bit. Um, now we're getting some more sun, um, but I think it's going to stay, you know, low to mid 50s uh, through this month. Uh, looking at the forecast. So I still think we're, it's going to be end of March, beginning of April through mid-April uh, is when we're going to see that crappie spawn this year. Uh, what I've been doing for crappie, uh, you got to fish that muddy water. And um, guys that are used to fishing muddy water is no big deal. Guys that are used to, used to fishing clear water, clear water lakes, it's, it's kind of scary um, to, go, to go fish those areas. Uh, one thing that I've been doing... Um, you know they're in a pre-spawn stage they're they're anywhere from 15 feet to seven feet of water um what i'm i'm still throwing the uh pro striker baby shad in the monkey milk color and i am coloring the, the tip of the tail with some chartreuse that's what i'm doing uh for that muddy water i'm getting a lot closer to those fish i'm putting the bait right in front of their noses and and triggering that bite um Another key to the success is the seven foot six inch ACC crappie stick. Uh, super important, you can feel those bites are strong enough uh, to pull them out of cover and, and whatever you need to do. Uh, so that this setup right here has been key for me. Uh, another setup is again, another ACC crappie stick, uh, seven foot six inch, but I am, I'm throwing a, Aider bait swimming minnow, which if I can get it to this Aider, Aider bait swimming minnow is just a pearl minnow with a paddle tail on it, and I'm not even moving my hand. You can just see how much it moves even without me moving my hand. Um, and I'm pairing that with a um, Apex blanket ship. 116 ounce jig head. I put pink on there for the mud and I will color that paddle tail chartreuse um, in, the, in those muddy conditions. Sometimes I do it anyway, but definitely in that stained to muddy water, I'll just go ahead and, and fill that paddle tail in with, with some chartreuse. Um, they, they're definitely starting to hit that minnow better. They're starting to um, they're starting to get more active. They're starting to chase a little bit. You don't have to bounce it in front of their face a few times to get them to bite so uh, being able to throw that past them and swim by them you can see those active fish come out of the brush or the the logs that you're fishing and come up out of there and hit that so that's that's kind of my indicator when i go from do nothing baits when i say do nothing you know the the straight tail on the pro striker doesn't have a whole lot of action not aggressive uh, that minnow has a super aggressive uh, action to it so when you start getting those fish to bite that the the it's they've been set in motion they, they're on their way uh to pre-spawn and then eventually to spawn um my biggest tip is don't be scared of the muddy water i know uh there's a couple places in muddy water we had a sunny 77 day yesterday uh the water got up 55 56. we're still uh, we're still three weeks out i think uh, we're still three weeks before those fish go to the beds and start doing their thing but in the next few days they're going to be moving up and staging to be up there so a lot of times people say they're catching spawning crappie sometimes they're not spawning you know sometimes they're in two feet of water and they're they're still in that pre-spawn staging phase so um I, I i think it'll be end of march beginning of april will be the spawn time this year um big focus is just just look for cover shallow slow down use your forward facing sonar and i think you'll be able to find them that's your tackle hd crappie update for table rock lake and i'm pete leonard if you are down in branson area and would like to book a trip 
uh, visit my website and give me a call and uh, let's go fishing.